I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on limits. We have absolute function involved in this question. We need to find limit when x approaches 1 for x square plus absolute value of x minus 1 minus 1 divided by absolute value of x minus 1. Now if I substitute x equals to 1, what do I get? Let's check that out. So if x equals to 1 then I get 1 plus absolute value of 1 minus 1 minus 1 divided by absolute value of 1 minus 1 which is so I get 1 plus 1 minus 1 is 0 and this is 1 so we get 0 over 0 now this is indeterminate and we can actually solve such questions by cancelling out the common factor between numerator and denominator now, whenever absolute functions are involved, it is a good practice to write them as piecewise functions. So, x minus 1 absolute value can be written as, let me write it here. So, we can write absolute value of x minus 1 as equal to positive x minus 1 for x greater than equal to 1 and negative of this x minus 1 for x less than 1, right? Now, that really means that we have to solve this limits question in two pieces. One, while approaching one from the left side and the other, while approaching one from the right side. So, let's do it. So, let us say, uh, let's divide this into two portions. So, we'll now calculate limit when x approaches 1 from the left side right and also limit when x approaches 1 from the right side in this case we can rewrite the function as limit x approaches 1 from the left side x square plus the absolute value of x minus 1 will now become negative x minus 1 right so it will now become negative x minus 1 that is to say let me write this as negative x positive 1 is it okay so i made open this bracket and we have minus 1 here divided by absolute value of x minus 1 is being written as negative x positive 1 on the right side we'll find the limit when x approaches 1 from the right side and the expression will be x square plus x minus 1 minus 1 over x minus 1. So, we will maintain the positive value. Let us simplify this expression. We get this as equal to limit x approaches 1 from the left side. Now, plus 1 minus 1 is 0. So, we get x square minus x in the numerator and in the denominator we get 1 minus x. Here, we can write this as limit x approaches 1 from the right side. Minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. So, we get x square plus x minus 2. And in the denominator, we get x minus 1. Let's factor. So, if you factor, we get limit x approaches 1 from the left side. x is a common factor. We get x minus 1, right? And in the denominator, what we have is minus 1 minus x, right? So, or we could say, since we have a factor x minus 1 in the numerator, we could write this as negative of x minus 1, as we wrote here. See, we get negative 1 when we plug it in. And in this case, if I write limit, x approaches 1 from the right side, we can factor this as x plus 2 times x minus 1 divided by x minus 1. And now, these expressions can be simplified. So, here we get minus x. Do you see that? On the left side, we get a value of minus x. And on the right side, this cancels. And on the left side, x minus 1 cancels correct so what do we get here 
Let me push this page a bit to accommodate the last line here. So what we get here is equal to limit x approaches 1 from the left side and we get minus x. Substituting 1 we get the value as now this one is being approached from the left side however it is a positive value but when you substitute here you get minus 1 as a result. Here if I substitute 1, I get 1 plus 2 as 3. So this limit is equal to 3. So both these limits are actually different, as you can very clearly see. right? Now, let us try to... Now, as we see here, both limits are different. We'll actually also sketch and then write down our answer. Answer is clear that uh, the limit does not exist, right? But here, let's take time to sketch the function also. So what we have here, on the right side, the expression is x plus 2. And we clearly know that x is not equal to 1, right? So at 1, there is a discontinuity. If you approach 1 from the right side, you approach a value 3. Let's say this is 1, 2, and 3. So you approach a value 3. Now, if I increase the value, the slope is 1, the graph will be kind of like this. On the other hand, if I substitute a value here, we get minus 1, right? So, we get minus 1, which is, let us say here, and if I use 0 as the value, then it goes through the origin. So, the graph will be kind of like this. Do you see that? Now here clearly what we notice here is that we have different values being approached which is minus 1 and 3. Since the limit of the given function, let us call it f of x, when x approaches 1 from the left side is not equal to limit. exist. Perfect. So that is how we can actually solve such a question. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views.